Jersey Sports Owens High School Baseball Coverage is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Jay Cook here in Ramsey for one of the biggest games in the opening week of the 2024 baseball season. Ramsey hosting Bergen Catholic in a big time Bergen County matchup. All eyes today are on Virginia commit Will Kirk. Scouts out to see the big left-hander dealing, but Bergen Catholic, this Crusader team, one of the toughest in the state, they are ready for a fight. Kirk is the top-ranked senior in the state this year, and he's firmly on the MLB draft radar. Nearly two dozen scouts in attendance Thursday for his first start of the season. And those scouts and the fans on hand were not disappointed. Kirk blended his pitches well in the early going, He's got four strikeouts over the first two innings. Will Kirk is shoving it and showing off that high ranking. Burke Reed would draw the start for Bergen Catholic in this one. He was efficient early on. Six up, six down for Reed, who logs this punch out to close the second. We're scoreless, heading into the third inning. Top three, the Crusaders are threatening with runners on first and second, two outs. Christopher Kim snares one to short, and it's holed in by a diving Luke Monaco. A big play from the senior shortstop right here prevents a run, and it keeps this game scoreless. Bottom three now. Ramsey works a pair of runners into scoring position. Up comes Sean Saylor, and he's going to power one into center field. One run in. And here comes the second across the dish. Sailor gives his Rams a 2-0 lead with some very timely hitting. Now we go to the top of the fourth inning. Bergen Catholic gets going. One on for Jacob Oliver. He's going to slap one to the hole at short, and it will creep on through into the outfield. Coming around third is Anthony Tedo, but he's thrown out at the plate. That's a big defensive play from Ramsey. But Bergen Catholic head coach Bob Muggio not happy, saying the catcher blocked the plate. So we'll slow the clip down and let you be the judge. The play ultimately ruled an out. That does not change. The fourth inning was Kirk's final inning, and his final stat line, not too shabby. Eight strikeouts, no runs, two walks, three hits on just 69 pitches. Ramsey would go to the bullpen for the remainder of the game, and that's where the Crusaders manufacture their first run. Petros Ruggeris gets a sacrifice fly. Danny Spearer scores. It's a 2-1 game through five full innings. So now we go to the top of the seventh. It's do or die for Bergen Catholic, and this is the man they want at the plate. Notre Dame commit Jamie Z absolutely sends one into orbit. Folks, that's what the kids call a no-doubter. Way over the high fence in left field, adios. Jamie Z draws the Crusaders even. It's now a 2-2 ball game. Up next is Christopher Kim, and he puts a charge into one. Kim blasts this one to the opposite field. 350 feet, it's a goner. Wow! Back-to-back -back home runs for Bergen Catholic. With two swings of the bat, the Crusaders take a 3-2 lead in this game. Now it's Ramsey's turn. Do they have some magic? It looks like they might. Bottom seven here. We've got back-to-back -back singles. The second coming from Sean Saylor. The Rams are showing life late in the game. Now it is Luke Monaco's turn at the plate. And with two outs, he sends a chopper right back up the middle. Rounding third is Christian Badenhausen, and he's safe. We've got a tie game, 3-3 three, three here in Bergen County. The Ramsey faithful are fired up after the game-tying RBI single, courtesy of Luke Monaco. Jacob Oliver pitches out of the jam, though, getting a backwards K on a 3-2 count. That is seven innings. So we're gonna go to extras, right? Well, you'd be wrong. After a home plate conference, the umpires decide to call the game due to darkness at 6.56 p.m. And we officially have a tie. What a game 
3-3 is your final. Certainly not the ending either team wanted, but we were treated to a spectacular showing from two of the state's top programs. Yeah, I learned that we have a lot of fight. Um, I mean, we could have easily gone gone down after after back-to-back -back home runs, but we came back. We we shut them down in the top of the seventh and then the bottom of the seventh. Um, we we got it going. So yeah, showed a lot of fight. Yeah, we learned that we're tough. We're definitely tough. We stay plugged in mentally till the last bit of the game, and we put together good at bats no matter what. And I'm super proud of these guys, and we're gonna keep it up. We're gonna build off this, and we're gonna keep getting better. It's not the result we wanted, but it's a bit. It's a stepping stone for sure. Reporting from Ramsey, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.